to kind of um, ask each of you, is there somebody that you follow on social that you think does an absolutely outstanding job that everybody should go home and follow themselves? Um, and it, or is there a journalist or a blog you read or something that helps you stay ahead of where we're going? Because the one thing um, social does is change very quickly. Facebook Live is a great example of that. So um, do you have one? Yeah. Maybe Deadpool? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> He's pretty good. Uh, and then some of the smartest stuff I see, it's not, it's not like social, but just content mm -hmm. is uh, Film Crit Hulk. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Totally. I, I want to share mine as James Gunn. If you go home and follow James Gunn on his social platforms, Instagram, Facebook. He is my lighthouse example of somebody who is engaging fans. He's not leaking where he's not supposed to, and he's actually taking them from the process from scratch from writing all the way through production. Um, and he just does an outstanding job of using a variety of different posting comments. He goes live from his trailer when he has five minutes downtime. Um, and he shares story art and all this amazing stuff. So he's really created a really engaged fan base on our platforms in particular. So part of my job is balancing the science with the creative piece of, of social. Mm -hmm. And so I actually follow a lot of like venture capitalists and, and people in technology because they tend to be the ones talking about the new next in product uh, before anybody else is. So for me, I can get a lot of ideas of trends and where things are coming and what we might be looking for at product, you know, six to 12 months down the line. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so for me, that's that's a really valuable resource. Is there one in particular? I mean, like the state, like Ben Horowitz is great, Mark mm -hmm. Andreessen, Chris Saka, any of those guys. I mean, yeah. I probably followed thirty of them because they all disagree with each other. So you need to have the whole <laughs> portfolio so that you can decide who's full of shit and who's not. So. <laughs> It's a hard one. I'm gonna go for a really obvious one, which is Marvel. Like they yeah. they just know how to do it so well, and the whole. Um, you know, Civil War, camp, Captain America's yeah. Civil War campaign was so genius. I mean, when you had Team Cap and Team Iron Man, it was so easy for, you know, casual fans and super fans to engage. So for me, I follow a lot of what Marvel does because they they just do everything like, so well. I've been following, I don't follow a lot of individual creators. Mm -hmm. I follow a lot of companies or campaigns that have been going on, starting with like I Love Bees and some of these other campaigns that really kind of changed the way that people were interacting with content. Um, and I'm seeing some companies that are distributing uh, physical goods like Loot Crate right now, which I think is uh, phenomenal because it's just breaking the boundaries of traditional uh, marketing and distribution of physical goods, which is kind of on the decline and so many people yeah. are going digital. Um, and I'd say, you know, companies like Steam uh, that are also kind of changing things in the digital space and they're not trying to compete with the iTunes of the world, but they're actually trying to reinvent the game space. So I think that uh, seeing how non-traditional channels are changing the way that we've been using traditional media is going to be really exciting for the next few years. 